Hello guys and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Today we're going to be looking at the Carnival Renegades and the Carnival Assassins. Now they're, they're both kind of similar decks um, and I'm, I'm a massive fan of both. These are, these are the ones I've used a bit more than the others. Um, but it's been a while since I've had a look at them so it's going to be quite interesting to go through and, and show you guys. Now I'll show you the, the tuck cases. So we've got air cushion finish made in the USA in red and blue. We've got United States Playing Card Company in red and blue. Nothing on the top apart from where I poorly peeled the seal off. Um, the bottoms are different. So they're both produced by Big Blind Media, both designed by Sam Hales, Dose Broad. Um, this one's got two of clubs written across the barcode. This one doesn't have a barcode. Um, these are 2009 and this one doesn't say which year it is. So I don't know which one came out first. Um, but I've seen the, the two of spades written in the barcode on a couple of other uh, carnival decks. And this, this does look kind of unfamiliar to me. So this might have been earlier. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, we'll go straight in with the assassins and we'll have a look at them first. So, show you the case. There's the back design. We'll look at that in more detail. Oh, these are 2009. Both 2009. That helps. <laughs> so, let's get the cards out. So you love cards like this, you will choose a ten of spades, and then you can force someone, and this will be uh, winning. So Big Blind Media, Carnival Assassins, Big Blind Media, it's pretty cool. Let's look at the back here. We've got a sort of gunslinger joker with a three of diamonds in his hat. Is that three of diamonds or three of hearts? Let's have a look here, three of diamonds. But yeah, it's very cool. I love red, I love red, black, and uh, grey scale. This one, same again, but this doesn't have the card in his hat. Sorry, look at that terrible camera work. Um, and then so you got go through, and we got the the deck. So here is the Ace Carnival Assassins. It's got the little coffin there. Dude with a Tommy gun, skulls. What more? What what more could you ask for? What's not to like? Standard faces. Double backer that was hidden in there. As I said, I've played with these ones. Um, I'm just a massive fan of them, to be honest. Uh, standard. All the way through. But, I mean, it doesn't take away from it. Look at this. Now, if that isn't cool, I don't know what is. Look how much the red pops in contrast. Little red shadowy skulls up the top. The cool sort of line work in the corners. Even the borders look awesome because of how, how this sort of fades into it. And I mean, that sort of cityscape in the backdrop behind him. Very, very, very cool. Now, yeah, as I said, these this deck, I, I love it. It's a, it's a nice deck. Um, I played with it quite a bit. It's got the uh, air cushion finish. And yeah, it's just oh, it's just a really nice deck. I just love it. So, I mean, for standard faces, there's not really a lot you can say. But the effort that's gone into the back design is just beautiful. So we're going to go on to the, uh, the Renegades here. And we'll just do a little side-by-side -side comparison with a couple of the cards. Um, so we'll get these out. So here you've got Choose the Six of Clubs, which again is very similar to the red one. I mean, he's holding a hatchet and a cleaver, and he's got two guns, but... I mean, they're very similar. That's what I like. It makes it sort of like a set. Um, and we've got a Joker here with a knife and a bomb, and he's got four of uh, four of clubs in his hat. So that's very much similar. And then um, we've got the other Joker again. Very similar in their style, and then. Double backers. So I mean, there's there's there is there's differences in them, and I think they make them look collectively very very nice. They look awesome together. I mean, this is almost like um, space work almost. You know, it looks like a sort of picture you'd find online of like a spacecape, and there's a little bomb down there. There's cleaver and his little hatchet. I mean, these are still in new deck order, but as you as I showed you before, they're they're standard faces. But, I mean, it doesn't take away from anything. These are a phenomenal, phenomenal deck of cards. I mean, 
Look at the blue. It's got real depth to it. There's a couple of samurai swords there. Oh, just it's just really cool. So side by side with the uh, with the assassins and I mean, look at that. A better suited couple never did meet. Look at these bad boys. See, so, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with them. The aces. Looking at the ace here. Just, just so cool. They've kept the same font, which again adds to the uniformity of it. I'm just a big fan. I'm a big fan of all carnival decks, and it's really annoying because I kind of wanted one that I didn't like, just so it didn't seem like I was kissing Sam's ass all the time. But he knocks out some phenomenal decks of cards. That, that you can't argue with that. These are just, oh, just so nice. So I mean, yeah, I would like to say that there's a deck that I don't like, but there isn't. But I did tell him in conversation actually that I liked uh, the Ghoul Guys deck a better than some better than some of his. So uh, I, I thought I, I was hoping I didn't offend him, and he just uh, appeared glad that he might be able to retire soon. But yeah, so that was the uh, Renegades and the Assassins guys, um, Big Blind Media, Dose Productions. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time when we'll be reviewing something else. Take care.